Hey, shortwave listeners. I want to do this quick video on how I massively improved shortwave reception on the XH Data D220 indoors. So how this idea occurred to me was due to some of the previous videos I had done trying to improve the performance of a small handheld shortwave radio. And we saw in the past, and you've probably experienced this too, trying to connect a wire just to the whip itself definitely overloads the radio and does not work well. But trying to do something with inductive technique with an antenna or a loop, using a loop of wire or some sort of coil seemed to work much better. So in my case, I realized I had this 100 watt, 500 ohm wire wound resistor. And thinking that it was wire wound, well, that could act as a small coil. Then using that close to the radio might provide a better signal indoors. So what I have here is first my PAR EFSWL from LNR Precision. I did a video about this in the past, so you can take a look at that. And just an alligator clip here, and then a, a short uh, run of coax. And I'll demonstrate how this uh, tremendously improved the shortwave performance. All right, to demonstrate what I've done here, you can see I shut down a lot of the indoor lights and power supplies just so the noise on the radio reduces. But I have my antenna here, and then the coax connected, comes around. Then I have this alligator clip connected to the center prong of the coax, and then connected to the 500 ohm wire wound resistor. So I've initially tuned it to CHU on the 41 meter band, which is not easy to receive middle of the day. So let's, let's turn up the volume. If I pull it away, no signal. So that's pretty good for the 41 meter uh, midday. We'll tune up to 10 megahertz. And we'll go up to about the 31 meter band. Station's coming in good. If I pull it away again, nothing. And if I try to attach it directly, just overloads. All right, let's keep going up. There's WWV on 10. away. Just keep tuning up. Maybe up on the 25 meter band. Yep, 25 meter band coming in nice and strong. And let's jump up to the uh, near the 19 meter band. I'm sure WWV will be very strong. CHU coming in very strong. Pull that away. Nothing. Just WWV. Excellent. So, I'll leave it there. Just to compare, you can take a look at it with just the whip out. I can barely get any stations at all indoors. In fact, I'm getting a lot of medium wave overloading, which wasn't occurring with the coil. So that's very interesting too. Not even getting WWV. So you can see just having this wire wound resistor acts as a coil, an inductive coil for reception. I'm gonna do another video tonight. We'll do the same thing on some of the lower lower bands in the evening and see how well performance is. But 
If you're going to use this radio indoors, this seems like this seems very promising. All right, it's evening now and we'll do a nighttime test. Uh, one thing I failed to mention in the earlier part of the video was the antenna, the PAR EFSWL antenna. It's a 45 foot wire that is sloping out the second floor window. Another thing I noticed here in the evening was the medium wave overloading was stronger. So I have put the radio up on its uh, back support here, you can see, and that keeps it away from the coil. It seems that closer that I get to the coil in the evening, the, the more medium wave interference and medium wave overloading I hear. So let's, let's listen to it. I'm scan up. Okay, that was what sounded like the seven megahertz amateur band, forty meter band. There's yep, there's some code. We take it away. Nothing. Okay, yeah. CHU coming in much stronger now. You can see around 10 megahertz. Much stronger. WWV on 10 megahertz. I imagine. Now as we get to the higher bands. Oh, there we go. So, so keeping it away from the coil farther away helps with medium wave overloading. And again, it's working very well. Could be a possible solution for your indoor listening. Perhaps you could find a way to put this in some sort of container with a connector and just have it near your radio in the evening if you're indoors. And I think it would solve a lot of problems, especially if you have an external antenna. All right. Thank you.